It is good to be with you again, friend. This is Pastor Nat with your five minutes in the Bible to help you win the day. Whatever it is you're going through today, there is a way to push through it with excellence. So to help you do that, today we're going to talk about using the right weapons for the spiritual battle. How would you react if you saw a plumber coming to your home with a slinky to fix your sink? How would you react if you saw a police officer pull out a bouquet of flowers instead of handcuffs to make an arrest? How would you react if your pastor said, let's not pray about it, let's strategize? You would think these people don't get it, you think they lost their mind. They don't understand the battle they're in. Well, the Apostle Paul, he knew our real battle isn't natural, it's a supernatural battle. Therefore, we need the right weapon for the job. What do I mean? Well, let's listen to the Apostle Paul in Ephesians 6. A final word. Be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor, so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after this battle, you will still be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all of these, Hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Put on salvation as your helmet, and take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. I wish I had more time to unpack the armor of God. But today, I really want us to hone in on what Paul said in verses 11 and 12. Paul tells us, to put on that armor so that we can stand firm against the strategies of the devil. Well, why, Paul? I mean, why do that? It's because Paul wants us to know that while the battles we face may be physical symptoms, they are actually spiritual battles. We like superhero movies. We like ghost hunter shows. We like Christmas miracle tales. But we doubt the reality and the seriousness of the spiritual battle. You see, you don't take a water gun to a real war. You don't wear a snowsuit to the beach in summer. That's why we don't bring human weapons to a spiritual battle. So here's my challenge for you today. Get familiar with the sword of the Spirit, which is the Bible. We need to treat our Bibles like our smartphones, always in our hands, in our face, and in our lives. Today, go back to the Bible. Read it, hear it, study it, memorize it, use it, and then obey it. When we do this, we will truly win the day.